What's going on guys? Today we're doing a unboxing, install, and sort of a review on the Banks iDash. Arguably, probably the best aftermarket gauge on the market. All right guys, so this is what I'm gonna be installing in this video. This is a Banks iDash Super Gauge. Um, this is not the Data Monster. They have one that has uh, data logging capability that it'll, it'll sample 100 different parameters, 10 samples a second, and put it on an SD card so you could go back and you know review the data later. Um, I did not get that version. Um, it's a little bit more expensive, but uh, yeah. So I'm, we're gonna go over this shortly as far as some of its capabilities and stuff like that. Um, I'm sure a bunch of you are gonna ask about the pod. So the pod that I have here is made by a company called Block 8 Head. Um, you can find him on Facebook. I'll put uh, a link to his Facebook down in the description for you guys. He sells um, pods for pretty much anything out there. Um, you know, Ford, GM, Chrysler, really doesn't matter. He does a bunch of import stuff as well. Um, with that said, the pod looks fantastic. Um, it matches the interior extremely well. Um, it's, it's a very similar to OEM finish. Um, but with that said, it took four months from the time that I ordered this thing till the time it showed up on my door. It was four months to the day. Um, he's got some family stuff going on, so if you guys place an order with him, just expect that it's gonna be a long time before it shows up. Um, like I said, took four months to get this thing, and I literally sent him a few messages. After about three months, I started sending the messages like, hey, where's this thing at? It's been three months and I haven't heard a word from you. Um, once I did that, he goes, yep, I'm shipping it. So I waited another month after he actually you know, shipped it. I sent him another message after it was so-called shipped, and then it showed up, up at my door. So like I said, the pod, they look great. Um, customer service, he's a one-man show. He's got a bunch of people waiting on these things, so it's it's kind of a pain in the butt getting a hold of them. So it is what it is. Um, if you get, like I said, if you guys want one of these pods, I'll put a link to it down in the description. So as far as what comes with the iDash, I literally bought the iDash back in February when I ordered the pod, and it's almost July, and now I'm finally opening it up. So I've literally had this thing since like I said, the end of February. So I don't have a clue what's in here. So there is the gauge. Plugs in with the OBD2 cable. So you're, what this gauge essentially does is it's sampling um, the data stream from the computer and just displaying it on a live gauge for you. So it comes with an extra bezel. So as far as what's in the in the package here, few zip ties, a couple Banks Power stickers. The stickers to me are kind of ironic because Banks Power is a company that you know kind of prides itself on BS-free marketing and you know making horsepower. Well, currently for my 2.8 liter Duramax that uh, we're putting this iDash in, the only speed part I have is this friggin' sticker. So, uh, Banks, if you're listening, yeah, there's people out there with 2.8s that, you know, want cold airs and uh, Derringer tuners and things like that. I'd be a buyer, but, you know, I can't buy it if it doesn't exist, so we'd appreciate it if you get, get on that. But in all seriousness, guys, if you seriously want to know like the engineering aspect of high performance, you need to go to check out the Banks Power Channel and just listen to some of the stuff that you know Gail talks about in some of his videos because he literally uses a bunch of these eye dashes to develop his parts. So that should tell you the capability of this little gauge. Um, like I said, go check him out online on uh, his YouTube, his uh, Facebook, and then you know check out the Banks Power website or whatever. But uh, yeah, when Gail makes a video and it's technical, I learn something every time. It's great. I absolutely love their YouTube channel. So 
Holy crap. All right, so that is a massive, massive manual. The manual is what? 75 pages for a gauge. Um, and it's all written in English. It's not like there's eight languages in here or anything. And the warranty card. So that's what we got. Let's uh, let's go over to the truck and uh, you know start installing all this stuff. All right, so this is where I'm going to be working. So the pod that I have actually replaces this vent. So this vent will pop out. It'll be replaced by the pod, and then I also have to pop out this side panel here. Um, pop out the side panel and then just run the wire down to the OBD2 port, you know, down to the footwell. So I'm not going to get super in depth with the install here. Um, it literally plugs into the OBD2 port and then plugs into the back of the gauge. As far as how you're routing the wire, that's going to depend on your application and where you're, you know, installing the gauge. Um, if you own a Colorado or a Canyon like I do, pop off the side panel uh, on the side of the dash, run your wire down to the OBD2 port, and then come in from the bottom side, push up on the bottom of the vent, the vent will pop right out and you can pop the new one in if you're gonna use a vent mount like I am. So as you guys can see, I got everything installed here. Um, there is one thing that you gotta do to this thing before you really start configuring the gauge. Um, you have to do a firmware update. So banks every now and then will come out with a firmware update, you know, new features, um, bug fixes, things like that that you download a file off their website, put it into a micro SD card, insert it into the face of the gauge, and then you'll get the uh, you know the updated features. So I went ahead and did all the download and all that stuff. If you guys need to know how to do that, um, Banks has a great video on their website how to do it. Super simple, um, not much to it. So one of the big selling points to me guys for the iDash is its size. There's a bunch of these other monitors out on the market that they literally look like a GPS from like the mid 2000s. Like it's like a little TV screen that you put in the corner of your windshield and it's got this, all this fancy artwork and crap on it when all I really need is some data. For its size and the cleanliness of install, the iDash to me is probably is going to be the best gauge out on the market because you could buy one autometer gauge and monitor one parameter or I can put in one eye dash and monitor any parameter on my entire vehicle with a high and low alert and it'll data log it so to me unless you want your your car looking like something out of fast and the furious um i dash to me it's the only way to go first thing right off the rip let's get this out of the way first thing just because this thing says banks on it and Banks sells mostly diesel performance parts does not mean it's only compatible with diesel vehicles. Um, this will work with any vehicle 2008 or newer. Um, I know it will work with the six liter stuff um, from the mid 2000s if you guys have a six liter diesel Ford. As far as the amount of information you're gonna be able to view, that's gonna be dependent on the vehicle you're communicating with. So it's gonna vary on each vehicle. Um, good rule of thumb is the newer the vehicle is, pretty much the more parameters that you're going to have in this iDash that you're going to be able to view. So something from, let's say, like 2008, you may not have engine oil temperature. Um, it's just going to depend on whether the vehicle you're dealing with has that sensor or not already built into it. One of the big things about this gauge is this expandability. So what I mean by that is, let's say, for example, you have a vehicle that... Um, doesn't have an engine oil temperature sensor but you want to monitor engine oil temperature banks will sell you a sensor that will interface with this eye dash that will read temperature so you can take that sensor that banks will sell you hook it up to the eye dash and now you will have engine oil temperature and they have all kinds of sensors so they have pressure sensors that like i said they have temperature sensors in a bunch of different ranges so yeah, like I said, this if there's something you want to monitor and you don't have a sensor for it, you can get a sensor that will interface with this gauge. So I've been playing around with this iDash for a couple days now. I've got all my screens set up how I like them. Um, and so far it's been fantastic. So I'm sure at this point some of you guys are going, well, you know, that's all fine and dandy, but that thing's kind of expensive for just being an OBD2 reader. And it's a little bit more than that. So what I mean by that is this. So yes, 
This is reading a data stream just like you can do with a cheap OBD2 scan tool, like I've shown in some of my other videos. The difference with this gauge is it has high and low alerts for any parameter on the screen or screen or parameters that are in the background that you can't necessarily see. And if one of those parameters goes above or below whatever you have the alert set point set to, it'll pop up with a warning in the screen and say, hey, the exhaust gas temperature is too high or the battery voltage is too low or the battery voltage is too high. So in that regard, it's very, very, very customizable. Um, but just like a traditional scan tool, it does have vehicle diagnostics in it. So it'll read and clear check engine lights. Um, it'll read the data stream because that's literally what the gauges are. Um, but in addition to that, if you have a diesel vehicle, it'll also do mobile and stationary regen if it's supported by the iDash. That's kind of where some of the, the firmware updates come into their own is, you know, Banks is constantly adding new features and new vehicles into these iDashes as far as their capabilities. Some of the other stuff that, you know, you won't get in a traditional scan tool. So just taking a look here, there's stuff in here for air density, um, calculated CFM, engine CFM, cylinder fill ratio. And what those things are, those are parameters that the iDash is able to calculate using the inputs from the OBD2 port. So for example, if I flip over to a different page here, I have manifold air density. So that is the amount of air in a percentage in the intake manifold in relation to ambient. So if your ambient is, let's say 85% and you're showing 84% in the manifold, you can see the losses or the gains from the turbocharger, the intercooler, things like that. So when people say that this is, oh, this is just an OBD2 reader, like I said, it's a little bit more than that. Especially when you couple that with the fact that you can daisy chain up to three more of these eye dashes in addition to this primary eye dash. So you could have four of these in one vehicle. And if you set up an eight page display or an eight gauge display, I should say, on each eye dash, driving down the road, you could be monitoring 32 different parameters at any given point. So as you guys can see, you know, this would kind of turn into data overload, especially if you're monitoring all the exhaust gas temperatures as you're driving down the road. Because as you can see, the values change very, very, very quickly. Well, you fill this gauge up with values that change very, very quickly, and it gets a little bit hard to digest and a little bit hard to decipher. So in that regard, that's kind of when the, uh, you know, the data logging model comes into its own. If you guys have issues, Rather than trying to drive down the road and figure out what the heck's going on, just pop the card in the reader, you know, hit the button for the log, start a log and take it for a ride. But the other thing you can do is you can come in here and right now I have that on an eight gauge layout. So you can come up and you can go all the way down to two. So it just depends on what you want. And like I said, this is highly, highly customizable. You can change the colors of the titles, the color of the background, the color of the bar graph the color of the font, the color of the buttons on the, the physical buttons on the iDash. So there's a ton of stuff in here that you can go in here and basically customize to make it exactly how you want it. So just running you guys through the gauges that I have and what parameters I'm monitoring on, on my setup. So I have exhaust gas temperature, engine coolant temp, engine oil temp, transmission temp, battery voltage, DPF soot level, and regen status. So this is kind of like my main page that, you know, I the one I'm on all the time. But like I said, you can have up to five different pages in this thing. So this next page, I've got manifold air density, intake air temperature, manifold air temperature. And this is actually the, the amount of gain from ambient to the manifold. I'm gaining 47 degrees worth of heat it, from ambient to the manifold. This is one of those calculated parameters that you're not gonna get on a traditional scan tool. Uh, and then down here at the bottom, I've got boost pressure and fuel rail pressure. The next screen I've got here is all of my emissions related stuff. So DPF soot level, distance between regens, time between regens, uh, def level, regen status, 
exhaust to gas temperature at the uh, at the exhaust manifold up before the turbo, and this is the exhaust gas temperature closest to the end of the tailpipe. So what this is kind of useful for is if this temperature starts to come up, the, the truck will do what's called a passive regen where you build enough heat in the exhaust system that it will regen the DPF on its own just based on the amount of heat going through the exhaust. So the final page I have here is all fuel related stuff. So I have RPM here at the top, fuel rate in gallons per hour, fuel oil pressure, fuel temperature, air fuel ratio, boost, and calculated engine CFM. Again, you're not gonna find that on a regular scan tool. So hopefully you guys got something out of that. Um, like I said, there's a ton of stuff going on in this iDash and really I just kind of scratched the surface for you with this video. Uh, perfect example is it also has a built-in shift light. So if you have a manual transmission vehicle, what you could do is if you had multiple eye dashes, you could set up a progressive shift light. So like, let's say for example, you had three eye dashes and you wanted a 7,500 RPM shift point, you could have one eye dash light up a shift light at 7,000 RPM, another one light up at 7,250, and the final one when you want to shift would light up at 7,500. Me being owner of a diesel pickup with an automatic, it really doesn't do me any good. So, like I said, there's a ton of stuff in here. Um, guys, I'll have links in the description to the iDash, both the Data Monster and the Super Gauge like I have, um, as well as Block 8 Head, their, uh, their Facebook page, if you guys wanna look him up for a pod. But I'm gonna tell you guys right now, he's gonna tell you three to five weeks, I'll have it to you three to five months is more realistic. So if you want one, he'll get it to you, but you gotta harass him a little bit and you gotta be patient. So uh, as always guys, if you guys like the video, hit like. If you wanna see more content, go down and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Mm -hmm.